you know, coming here to the first graduation ceremony of uh, the batch from IIDT, you know, brings back um, brings back old memories when I graduated from Stanford in 2008. You know, you, there is a sense of anxiety. I'm sure the anxiety is about joining new companies, making new friends, maybe new cities. But I, as I say, it's commencement. It starts. The journey starts today. And I congratulate you. I'm sure it must be a very, very eventful uh, one year. I know that you've had quite a few challenges. Uh, if I may, you are our guinea pig batch. But definitely you've come with uh, flying colors and you made us really, really proud. I'd like to thank the partners, the faculties uh, of IIDT for making this first batch a very, very successful batch because typically it's always about trying and seeing whether the first batch succeeds and then deciding whether you want to continue the program. You know, the Honorable Chief Minister Sri Nara Chandrababu Naidu Garu doesn't require any introduction. One thing that I think we can commonly agree is that he's a man with vision. Nowhere in India do you see Panchayat Raj, Rural Development Ministry and IT together. Nowhere in India. That just gives you an idea of his vision of how technology... That just gives you an idea of his vision of how technology can actually be used for rural India. And as we call it, Bharat. And that's the true visionary that our Honorable Chief Minister is. You know, for him, technology is very close to his heart. And um, when the state of Andhra Pradesh was bifurcated and we looked at how should we now create a workforce for tomorrow and what are the institutions that are there out there, if you look at it, there is actually no institution that is looking at next generation technologies. And that is where the Honorable Chief Minister said we need to create IADT and create a world class curriculum. And a curriculum based on industry feedback. And I thank all the industry leaders now sitting in the first row. And it is important to keep getting your feedback because we want to create workforce of tomorrow and not workforce of yesterday. And the technologies that we are trying, you know, big data, blockchain, cyber security, artificial intelligence, these are all relatively new technology, not only in India, but actually globally. It's a very, very new technology. The market is just about trying to understand what's going to happen. So it's very, very important that we get feedback from the industry and you keep giving this feedback. There's a reason why I gave you the mentorship, like... Now we expect you to give feedback and you know sort of in, inculcate that curriculum back into the curriculum. From government side, uh, we see IIDT playing a very very important role. The vision of our honourable chief minister is by 2020 to uh, by 2022 to make IIDT among the top 20 digital technology institutes globally. Globally. So investments are going to come in. We are going to create infrastructure. We are going to create cyber ranges, the whole bouquet will come in, but I think industry input will play a very, very important role. And I'm looking forward to working with all the partners here. You know, to the youngsters who are going into the world, to the youngsters who have just joined IADT, I think we're in the midst of a very, very exciting times. I'm sure all of you must have read, you know, we never witnessed Industrial Revolution 1.0, 2.0. We never witnessed it. But India has been very lucky to be part of Industrial 3.0. And that's what has really developed the entire IT ecosystem, not only in India, but actually support the entire IT ecosystem globally. Now what we see is Industry 4.0. If you look at the top 10 companies globally, 5 are from the technology space. And believe me, in 15 years, at least 8 will be from the technology space. And saying that, now data is the new oil. When everyone is chasing data. And the ability to mine this data, the ability to take intelligent decisions on data is going to play a very, very important role. If you look at all the new startups and multi-billion dollar startups that have come out, you know, I know one of them has spoken about, one of them has joined Uber and uh, Uber doesn't even own a steering wheel. 
forget a car they don't even own a steering wheel if you look at airbnb which is an aggregator of uh, rooms uh, you know residential uh, accommodation they don't even own a pillow so what you're seeing is a complete transformation of business models what you're seeing is complete transformation of businesses and you as the next generation warriors are well equipped in making this transition and we from the state side are committed to this program and we believe that we can actually create a workforce not just for india but create the global workforce uh, in andhra pradesh we are a new state i know quite a few are from the state of andhra pradesh andhra pradesh got bifurcated in 2014 uh, it was a bifurcation where uh, we didn't even know where our capital city was that's where our journey started and it's amazing that how one leader makes a difference it's about how do you use every crisis as an opportunity and i think this is very very important uh, for the youngster sitting here you are india's next you know i am india's today you are india's future it's very very important to understand that every crisis has an opportunity and that's something that our honorable chief minister says again and again that every crisis is an opportunity and as you youngsters go out into the marketplace this is something i want you to really really think it's very very important for you to understand you know if mr i mean if the honorable chief minister mr naidu actually said you know what it's a new state we don't know what's going to happen let's go slow let's just build a secretariat assembly and be done with it i think we would have had a capital city like naya raipur or gandhinagar but today if you look at the way amravati is conceived taking 35000 acres of farmland through a innovative land pooling model getting the best designers globally from norman foster or even the singapore government to do the master plan that just gives you an idea of how every crisis can be used as an opportunity when i became the it minister in 2017 it's, ex it's going to be one year seven days from now i i gave my team a vision i said we need to create 100000 it jobs by 2019 in andhra pradesh